So this morning when I woke up, I do the first thing that I do, which is check my phone. You know, that's not good, but I do that. And I open up Instagram, which is scrolling through it. And I see a lot of really cute girls wearing really cute clothes because I do follow a lot of fashion influencers because I love just having inspiration in terms of style. But then, you know, I look at my own closet and I feel like I have nothing cute to wear. So I go on another app on my phone, like Shopee or Zalora, and I start adding random things to my cart. But, you know, I don't actually buy anything because I'm super cheap. I don't like spending money. I just wanted to talk about that because I wanted to open up a conversation, just say that every day, every morning, sort of, I do struggle with the urge of just wanting to buy things and shop and i think a lot of you can relate with me and so heavily influenced by the fashion revolution movement i wanted to make this video an ode to my old clothes just to have like a renowned sense of gratitude and love for my old clothes and the clothes that i do have in my closet that i kind of shaded of not being cute but have been with me for a very long time also, just a quick disclaimer, I wanted to be transparent and tell you guys that I am not a perfect, like, sustainable shopper. Like, I'm not at all because I do buy things from Shopee and also from fast fashion. And I've always struggled with, like, just mentally, like, having that cognitive dissonance of knowing that this is such a bad industry that I'm supporting. I just wanted to also say that a lot of my clothes I do wear a lot and I don't shop so much but yes that does not discount the fact that most of my clothes are made by overworked and underpaid women or children I think we should just try our best <laughs> when it comes to this yeah I just want to be transparent about that anyway here are the five clothing pieces that I have some stories behind them okay let's go <laughs> So for clothing piece number one, I just wanted to show you a piece of clothing that has a good story or a good memory attached to it. And I picked this random gray hoodie from The Gap. I guess let me just kind of describe it. It's this nice like heather gray hoodie with a zip up in front. It's very basic looking. I feel like everyone has a sort of version of this in their very own wardrobe, which is very comfy, something that college students would wear when they're at the library or in like an air-conditioned uh, classroom like i definitely wore this a lot in college and this has been with me for at least eight or nine years okay i have a couple of really good memories with this the first one that strikes me the most is i brought this jacket to my senior retreat in high school okay i don't know why this was a thing but back in high school i always felt like fashionable whenever you had like a jacket on with you because you know you're always stuck wearing your uniforms and the only other accessory that you could like bring to school or whatever is a jacket but yeah this was my choice of jacket during the senior retreat um we all had to wear like jeans and a class shirt so the jacket was the only form of like being cool or showcasing your style and i was pretty proud of this for some reason i don't know um it's just really comfy and laid back so it just reminds me of that time in high school of just hanging out with my best friends and you know having a lot of laughs and also having a lot of heart to heart talks because you know retreats kind of make you cry and that that's the time wherein people tell you about what they think of you which is like such a crazy time clothing piece number two it's also kind of connected with like having good memories but i wanted to show you a travel companion of mine my denim jacket this is like my absolute favorite denim jacket it's thrifted so it has a life before i owned it so you know there's probably way more stories to be told by this jacket but it's large all saints which is crazy i still don't know if it's real but i would like to assume that it is it's super big, extremely large, oversized, and I've brought this to every single out of the country trip I've had ever since I got this. And I think I thrifted this during my second or third year in college. I love bringing this because it really matches with any outfit. It keeps me super warm and with obviously like layers underneath. And I just feel like myself whenever I wear this jacket and it has pockets. So it keeps my hands warm as well. 
The next piece that I wanted to show you is something that I have been complimented on, on it being so me. I mean, I have a lot of pieces that people do say that is so me, but I just wanted to show you like one of the oldest piece that I have. And it's kind of really random and super simple, but it's just this burnt orange t-shirt it's so simple it's like a crop and i love the material of it it's super soft it's just from forever 21 i love the color i still wear it to this day of course i probably got this during college for sure so maybe second or first year college because i got the compliment during that time okay so this is my memory it's very specific because i still remember it but i was walking with one of my close friends and also i secretly had a crush on him at the corridors of my school and he was just like just super randomly he never really compliments me but he was like oh nate it's the outfit you're wearing today it's just so you like something that you would wear like it just reminds me of you and i'm just like oh thank you and yeah so it was this top with i actually have the pair of shorts that i was wearing just black shorts so yeah, these shorts are also great. That's just for my H&M and I've had them since that year and th they still fit. So yeah, this combo. It's like not even a really cute look, right? But I just love like the simplicity of this like sort of exercise and how clothes, they don't have to be flashy to have like a significant meaning to you. Like simple pieces like this, they just hold so much little stories and anecdotes. And I think that's super cute. The next piece of clothing is one that is my oldest piece, I think. I'm pretty sure this is the oldest piece. And I'm kind of cheating because I am using it as a pajama top now, but it's still, it held up really well. Like, this is it. It's the comfiest pajama shirt that I have. I mean, it's not super oversized, but I literally, this was like my sister's hand me down to me as a kid. So I probably started wearing this, maybe I wanna say like kinder or not kind of like grade school, like grade one, two, or three maybe. This shirt has been alive in the co-household for like maybe two decades. I'm not sure, but look, like there's really no tears to it. Like obviously the shirt is super soft and like stretched out, whatever, but like there's no holes. It's so comfortable. I still wear it to this day. Elmo, holla. I'm never gonna throw this out too, cause it's just a memory of my childhood and how we used to really love Sesame Street. The last piece that I wanted to show is something that brings me confidence, is timeless, is classic, just makes me feel good. And it's also another super simple piece. It's just this black like tank top, flowy tank top from H&M as well. And I got this, I'm pretty sure, at 2016. So it's been with me for around four years. So this is one of the newer tops, more stylish, I guess. But before, I remember that whenever I wore this, it's like way too low and I always had to layer a shirt underneath. But now I can wear it without a shirt underneath and it would be fine. There's something about wearing the color black that just makes you feel sleek and just clean looking. So I love this top and I wore this at a concert recently, like day six. So this was my top of choice to see my Korean crush. Like we high-fived in this top, so I love this shirt. So I guess for this top, I kind of touched on the subject of how our body changes throughout the years. And sometimes you can't really keep things that don't fit you properly or like they used to anymore, which is definitely the case with me because I tend to go through my closet from time to time to discard um, things that no longer fit me and I guess that's also like the reason why I haven't shown like much bottoms just these shorts because our bodies like grow, fill up or like deflate, um, tone up <laughs> even with those clothes that I have moved on from I still want to thank them for creating like awesome memories with me sad that I can't fit in them anymore but that's like just natural bodily changes and that's definitely okay and fine so those were all of the clothing pieces that I wanted to show you and share the stories that I have with them to you. Um, that was a wrong sentence structure, but to be honest, all of the pieces that I showed you, they're not remarkable and they're not really anything outstanding, but the stories that I have with them does like mean something great to me. And 
I rewear them a lot. I always post photos wearing them and I think in the age of like taking OOTDs, posting them on Instagram, there is still sort of like that stigma wherein people are like, oh, that girl's like an outfit repeater or you wear this piece of clothing so many times. But what if instead of thinking like that or like judging someone, like why would you judge someone for using something that they purchased, right? So instead of like having that judgmental outlook because sometimes i do kind of get into that and like oh same outfit or oh it's sad again why not focus on how that article of clothing is serving the person so well and that they feel so confident wearing that like isn't that great that this person is like feeling themselves so much wearing that pair of shoes or like that tank top or something and just celebrate it celebrate how this thing is able to contribute to like the confidence or happiness even of that person wearing it i know that i will still constantly feel that i have nothing to wear and that I don't have cute outfits, but just realizing and having this conversation with you of like my old clothes and how they've served me and how they've been with me for so long, it really opens up a new sense of appreciation for the clothes that I do have. Yeah, I hope this video encourages you to look into your own closets and kind of like uncover and just have a little like story time session with yourself in your journal or like leave a comment down below please or share it on social media. Okay, I feel like I've talked so much about this topic and I really appreciate you for sticking with me and for watching this video. Uh, this video was from my heart to yours and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!